Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. June 17th, 1916 sees the French and the British making some fairly good advances uh, into German territory. Uh, last turn, we took um, both Luxembourg and Strasbourg uh, down here. Um, Strasbourg, Luxembourg, yeah, yeah. But we took them both. Uh, we do have a surrounded unit here in Metz. Uh, hopefully we can deal with him uh, in this turn. Um, we're going to keep pushing in in the south. Uh, actually made some gains in the north too, so uh, we're going to work on that. Uh, over on the Russian front, we've got, uh, I want to say parity of forces, but in terms of what we're facing... Uh, weaker Russian troops versus stronger German troops. We are kind of holding our own here, except for whatever happens to be running around up here. Um, we've got a, kind of a handle on this thing, although that could go pretty quick. Uh, these guys here, uh, I did advance them a little bit, but I didn't want to pull them out of um, Presmil. So that's why they're still sitting here, and this guy... Uh, hopefully you can deal with uh, this unit at some point in the near future. Uh, Serbian front. Um, not much to say about this, except uh, we're whittling them down, but they're whittling us down too, so uh, it's kind of a trade-off. Um, if we can get packed back, that would be good. Uh, hopefully they don't decide to move into uh, this capital here. The capital of Montenegro. So hopefully they kind of just leave that one alone. I accidentally moved him out, didn't mean to. Um, so, uh, we are holding on to Bucharest. They're moving in with a few units, but um, I'm gonna I'll leave him here right now. I'm looking 20% for Austria-Hungary. We're gonna see what the loss of those two cities due to the uh, morale of the Central Powers once we start the turn, uh, which will happen right now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. celebrates the taking of Strasbourg. All of Strasbourg lowers the German morale. Hey. Four blockades, as usual. Germany's first ace pilot, Max Immel, and is shot down over to the Western Front. Eric. Maria Remark is conscripted into the German army. Former Chief of Staff, Helmuth von Molke, dies at age 68. Victor Chapman becomes the first U.S. pilot to die in the war. Armored Warfare Level 2. Logistics development for the British, up to 100%. Armored Warfare Level 2. Fran French. Uh, infantry weapons level one for the Russians. Uh, 329, 437, 331. Uh, we need some more headquarters units out in Serbia, but they make so little that it's... they have to save up for like 10 turns just to uh, collect that. Okay, so let's see what. Well, that's not what I wanted to see happen. Unfortunately, but they did move out of their, their defenses. Oh, and they linked up. Not good. Not good at all. Their sub is fighting their way through. The 
for naval unit escape. Reinforcing here. <coughs> Luckily, we didn't get cut off up in here. Well, they've just got the salient. That's salient. <laughs> I mean, our supply source. our entrenchment there. But bombing the living hell out of us. The Ottomans have artillery now. Uh oh. Apparently they have a lot of artillery. Oh, if they move in, they can cut that one unit off. Six? Seriously? Was dead anyway, so it was that one there. Threatening Bucharest again. Serbia is about to collapse, I fear. Maybe even Russia. To July now, 1916. Somehow went right past us back in the port. Thus, Montenegro capital reduces Serbia's morale. Montenegro surrenders, and we just lost. <clears throat> we have nobody guarding Belgrade. Workers in Ukraine strike for better conditions. Description leads to industrial unrest in Sheffield. Blockades. 
Seeger, Alan Seeger, U.S. poets killed in action while serving with the French Foreign Legion. Oliver Hardy stars in a day at school. Montenegro was operate, uh, occupied. Belgium subspot in near Kiel. Further, our campaign in Mesopotamia, we could provide the local commander at Basra with sufficient reinforcements to enable his headquarters and the Tigris Corps to take the field. Providing the extra forces necessary from India will cost us 200 MPP for four turns of 50 MPP each. Uh, doing so will provide us with an HQ and a Tiger score at Basra. Uh, uh. Major General Frederick Stanley Maud, son of Sir Frederick Francis Maud, saw service in France in Gallipoli prior to taking command of the Tigris Corps in the summer of 1916. Maud was to lead his forces, this force to victory, capturing Kut el Amara and then Baghdad the following year. So he was not to see the end of the war as he died of cholera in November 1917. It is recommended to say yes to this as by deploying Maud in the Tigris Corps, your own forces will also have the same potential for victorious Offensives in this theater. <clears throat> I'm going to say yes to this one. Uh, Salonika prepares to receive French shipments bound for Serbia. We got some Russian forces to dole out here. Some French forces to dole out here. I'm gonna continue to focus on the uh, southern front here. Got some more Serbian forces. I know where I'm putting you. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. Serbia is in trouble, my friends. Don't have anybody. Montenegro's fallen. He's cut off. I'm gonna die. Unless we can do something about it. Can't reinforce him. Two to one. Actually, uh, go back. You go around? He can't. As well, try and fight your way out. The damages attacking a headquarters unit. <clears throat> Now these guys are in trouble. Get the impression that everything's just about to come to a head here. Do to nothing. And the one here. Dig you in.
Can't do anything about him, but we can start putting him down a little bit, I guess. Right, it looks like we captured the Galicia oil field. Three out of four. Dig you in. Two to two, wow. You up a little bit. The one, he's almost dead, so if I use him, he's dead. I do nothing. him anywhere. Upgrade him though. Two turned out better than what I thought it was gonna. Huh? <clears> hey, <throat> okay. uh, let's continue on with the Russians over here. do anything with him except dig him in or this is what I'm worried about <laughs> this is gonna last much longer <laughs> And find the uh, there he is. We can get lucky, we don't. that do here's 36% for the Russian all right well let's see what we can do up here probably nothing got this uh No, 
跟我有。Oops. I'm not going to get him killed. I'll just do it some other way. Hacker was destroyed. Okay, let's uh, move some of these guys out. <sighs> Wondering. Probably wouldn't be a wise idea to send them down there. It would take too long to get them down here. I probably should have been doing this the whole Moving some uh, troops down there. Then you upgrade. Let's see. That German sub disappear too. There he is. Submarine dives from attack. How nice. Oh. He's gonna die. We got him off the blockade line there. Let's start sending someone over here, see if we can uh, spot their. This is what I was doing with them. It's going to take fucking forever. Over there. All right, now on to the French. Guys are also dug in. Five to one. Those aren't very good odds. Upgrade this guy and this guy. What happened to the... <clears throat> that was interesting. We had moved further in. One to three.
Slowly moving our more powerful units up to the front. Three to three. Take the chance here. Oh, I know it's at one. Swap them out. Wasn't bad. Do the two. Right, there's that guy down. Uh, strengthen him. Moving these guys up. I could get this guy we could cut them off Thing. Dig you in. <clears throat> I 
really gotta get some of these weaker units off the front lines. Pop them out like that, I guess. We gotta do something about this, uh, the Met salient. <sighs> He's upgradable. He's just, I really want him up there. Oh, I do that. Oh. Oh, shit. I just realized I, uh, they wanted to go for Antwerp. They could. Good. Got these two that have just arrived. I think that's it for uh, <clears throat> what we can do here. Even if I sent these two battleships. See what we can do here. Hank. Hank. Oh, it's 200. We got 196. Oh, come on. I guess we can get a tank, even if we're broke. <coughs> Hank. The Russians are getting another core. That leave us with six, seven, twenty-four, eight, sixteen. So, where's our tanks? When are they coming? December sixteenth. A while. August sixteenth for. Four units for Germany. But we got tanks on the way. That's a good thing. <laughs> uh, I think for now that's what I'm going to do. Um, made a little bit of progress here. Uh, I don't think these guys are going to last much longer. Uh, unless we can get some help to them pretty quick. Like the Italians, they would... really work. Uh, I wonder if I could, uh, no, I can't even do anything with them. All right, well, that's going to do it for the uh, turn of the first week of August, I mean July 1916. Uh, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section below. I pray for you, Serbia, I really do. If you want to follow along, see if Serbia survives. Pass a couple turns from now, hit the subscribe. And uh, we'll pick this up in the next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.